questions about that? Okay, let's get started. Uh, welcome to Astronomy at Home by the ASP or the Astronomical Society of the Pacific. Uh, we've been doing this all during the pandemic and we're happy to have you here um, as the pandemic comes to a close. Uh, we'll be having some folks coming in. Okay, so what we do in story time is we read a storybook, we try an activity, and then we have questions and discussions. And so when we have that, um, we'll be turning off the recording for that piece. And today's book is called May Among the Stars. It was written by Rhoda Ahmed, and the pictures or illustrations are by Stasia Burrington. And this is a true story. Um, there is May floating around in space among the stars. Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreamers never succeed, but little May was different. I like to daydream and she looks like she's very relaxed and enjoying thinking about her dreams uh, under the tree in nature. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them that I want to see the earth. This is Earth May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forest, and the mountains. We live on Earth. I know, but I want to see Earth from out there. You can see she's pointing up into space. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you will have to become an astronaut. That way you can see Earth from space. Astronaut? Do you think I could do that? Of course you can. If you can dream it, if you believe it and work hard for it, anything is possible. May asked her mom to take her to the library. She searched for books about space and astronauts. Looks like she found a lot of books in the wagon there. After dinner, May drew pictures of space, and she even made her own astronaut costume out of some old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. And that's the activity we did in a different um, story time. But you can see she's made an astronaut helmet and she has pictures of space on the walls. She's very excited about space. Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seemed impossible. You will find your way, May, because if you dream it, believe in it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. So both her parents were supporting her in doing, fulfilling her dream. But space is so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space, surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. Below her, she could see the earth floating and turning like a shiny crystal ball. In the classroom the next day, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Today, we are going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be? And what do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? And this first little, bo little boy says, I want to be a firefighter. And the next child says, I want to be a teacher, a football player. I want to be a mom. I want to go into space. I want to be an astronaut. All the kids started laughing. Miss Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. 
I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut. May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. Do you think she's sad that some of the kids laughed and her teacher said she couldn't be an astronaut? At home, May started crying. Miss Bell said, I can't become an astronaut. What a silly thing to say, said her mother. She told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of course I believed her. She's my teacher. I'm sorry, Mrs. Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you. No one can stop you. Follow your dream, May, and go to space. Thank you, Mom. I promise when I get to space, I will wave to you and Dad from the spaceship. Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I work hard for it, anything is possible. <laughs> I love this picture because it's they're so excited and the cat is looking very funny on the side there. <laughs> May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard. And guess what? She went to space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. That's uh, May, um, Dr. May Jameson was the first African-American female astronomer and she went into space. And in the book, there's a whole lot that you can read about her. And um, one of the cool things I think is that she speaks Russian, Japanese and Swahili. She became a medical doctor. She worked with the Peace Corps and she went into NASA and now she runs a nonprofit. She um, also got to star on Star Trek uh, for an episode or two. So she got to do lots of really fun things. Um, next time, which is gonna be Tuesday, July 27th, we're going to read Round Like a Ball. And the words and pictures are by Lisa Campbell Ernst. And I wanna invite you to um, go to astrosociety.org slash story time uh, to find out about registration. The activity we're going to do today is draw an astronaut. And if you are listening to this um, online, the video is pasted right there. So you can go and check out this video about drawing an astronaut. But please send your drawings to storytime at astrosociety.org because we would love to see what you come up with. Um, but now um, we're going to end our story time for online and then we're going to have our discussion and our activity just with the kids and families that are here. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we're going to stop the recording and the kids are going to stay and do the activity. Have a great day.